Is here. Our time is 644 now. An interest in probiotics and dietary supplements. As it grows, supplemental digestive enzymes are gaining traction. Are they necessary? That's why we have Dr. Paula Walker King with us this morning from Columbus State University. Good morning, Chuck. Well, there's the question. Are they necessary? Well, they, in some cases, they may be beneficial. And so, essentially, we make digestive enzymes intrinsically, and mm -hmm. they're necessary to process the digestion of our food and so breaking down large molecules of food into smaller particles that can be utilized by the body. What happens is some people have um, maybe a deficiency of enzymes so with advancing age some people will grow lactose intolerant or have some other food intolerance issues and so digestive enzymes may be beneficial. So why is there an interest in uh, digestive health anyway? This, here's the thing, one thing that we can't negate is that there is a connection between optimal health and a healthy functioning digestive system. Now what most people don't realize is that 70% of the immune system is stationed around the digestive system. So when the digestive system works properly, the immune system works more efficiently and as I'm well. I'm guessing when those enzymes work well, you have overall pretty good health, right? You tend to have better uh, health and better processing of foods. And so we have this standard American diet was full of refined and processed foods and often, you know, difficult to digest. It's a more complex diet. And so the digestive enzymes may play a role. Let's take a look at a little uh, still we prepared ahead of time uh, talking about people who are candidates for digestive enzymes. Exactly. So besides those individuals with age-related uh, enzyme insufficiency, acid reflux, symptoms of acid reflux uh, may be uh, relieved by uh, taking digestive enzymes along with the food intolerance issues like lactose intolerance, uh, abdominal gas, or in individuals who experience symptoms related to irritable bowel syndrome or Crohn's disease may also find some relief. Digestive health covers this to this, right? You got it. Yes. Good information as always. <laughs> Thanks, Dr. Paula Walker King from Columbus You're State welcome. University. Time now for a weather check.